Welcome to session 5 Plotting of 2D, 3D plots and subplots in MATLAB. These are the contents of today's session that is, classification of plot, basic commands of plot, labels and annotations, types of plot. First, we will see the different types of plot. These are the types of plot categorized according to their function and uses. These are categorized in line graphs, bar graphs, area graphs, directional graphs, radial graphs and scatter graphs. These are 2D graphs. There are also 3D graphs. Then basic commands of plot. So plotting the x versus y axis or x values versus y values. These are the basic commands. x is the independent variable or it is array starting from 0 to end point 20 with increment of 0 0.2 y is a dependent variable y is function of x this is the function then y2 y2 comma colon indicates the second row of y values and this is the third value third row of y values then use command plot x comma y it will plot x axis versus y axis these are the some toolbars used for modification of the graph. This is the edit mode, this is zoom in, zoom out, pan and rotate. So first we will see the example of basic commands in MATLAB. So this is the home screen of MATLAB. These are some garbage stuff. So clearing that screen use C and C to clear the screen ok then we will see clear all clear all command will clear all the values garbage values then close all it will close all the figures if they are open so these are the basic three commands that is clear all close all and C and C so running the first example, I will copy paste that example in the command window. Here this is the editor and this is the command window. So running the first example. To run the example, there are three options. You can directly copy paste the editor, your code or script into the command window or you can press the F5 button or you can press this symbol. This is the figure 1, x versus y. These are the three graphs of three different values of y. So, we will see the labels and annotation. How to add the titles, labels, axis names or legends to the graph. To add the title, this is the command title in bracket in quote this is the title of graph line plot x versus y to add the axis names or axis labels use code x label in bracket in quote this is the x axis name that is x value for y labels or y axis use y label in bracket in quote this is the Y axis ok and to add the legion that is name to the different graphs use legion command in bracket equals to bracket this is the first label this is the second level and this is the third level and the position of legion is indicated here location southwest you can see here will be the location of legion we will see in MATLAB to add the annotations and access names title name etc first enter the command hold on hold space on then this is the title and access name so you can copy paste that program here you can write title 
in bracket this is title the next label y label and legion this is the legion this is the x value this is label to the x axis this is the y axis and this is the name to the graph okay. i'll close that next this is the line plot here we are plotting the x axis versus y axis this is x range or x array starting from minus 2 pi to 2 pi with increment of pi by 6 so pi indicate the already stored value y is function of x here this is y function then command plot x comma y comma this is the description of that plot that is this indicate the line type dash dash here you can see the red color red dash type then r indicate the red color s indicate the marker type s is the square then line width we are selecting the line width as 2 then marker age color the square surrounded by black color k indicate the color black marker face color that is this marker or point color is green and marker size is 10 we will see this example in MATLAB ok so first we will write CLC then clear all so this is the line plot example Here you can see x y plot. This line is indicated by dash line. Marker is indicated by green square surrounded by black color. Okay. Next example. This is the multi plot. Multi plot is used to plot different values of x and y or different values of y in single graph here x is the array moving from 0 to 20 y is function of x y2 is also function of x but here y1 is different than y2 y1 is sine of x and y2 is cos of x so plotting these two different functions in single plot <coughs> we use plot y y x comma y 1 x comma y 2 and this is the plot so it will plot the different values of y for single x axis so this is for y 1 and this is axis for y 2 so in the next example we will see multi plot This is plot of x values versus y1 values, and these are the y2 values. Okay. Next is the law semi log plot. So, plot uh, semi log or log values on xy plot we use the function semi log y so here y axis is semi log we can plot the semi log x axis also here the x values are there x running from 0 to 10 with increment of 0.1 and here we are plotting the semi log y as x comma 10 dot raised to x x indicate the values of x these are point to point values ok so 
so here the semi log plot okay here the x values are linearly vary from 0 to 10 with increment of 1 and here the axis y is semi log axis moving on next slide this is the log log plot x is log space minus 1 to 2 indicate the values of x axis moving from 10 raised to minus 1 to 10 raised to 2 log space means 10 raised to minus 1 to 10 raised to 2 values okay. next one to plot that graph values use function log log x comma exponential of x comma this is the line type dash type and marker is square type so we write here x then this is function grid on or off so we put the grid on we'll see what is this example so this is the log log graph right clc clear on put the code and this is the log log graph okay these are the x values from 10 raised to minus 1 to 10 raised to 2 and these are the y values okay next this is the bar plot this is the second category of plot this is the types of plot that is bar plot x x is moving from value minus 2.9 to 2.9 with increment of 0.2 so to plot the bar graph or bar plot we use the command bar in bracket x value this is the function of y or y is equal to f of x exponential in bracket minus x point star x okay and indicated by color red r is the red color so we we'll see this is the bar example or bar plot This is the bar plot. You can change color here in this command. Okay. Right here. See. Clear off. Clear all those garbage values if are there. Then moving the next plot. This is the same plot. T T is link space minus two pi to ten. Sorry, minus 2 pi to 2 pi with equally spaced 10 values so it will cut this is command link space will cut minus 2 pi to 2 pi in 10 segments so here function h is the same h is a handler so it will store the function of this graph so stem t comma cos of t these are the functions x and y fill by dash dash lines then this is the h is the handler then set set command will set the value of property of h that is set the value get get is the command to get the value of handler get h baseline line style as a dotted this is the set command set h marker face color as a red so this is the marker color okay. we will see this example in MATLAB
the same skin plot. Marker colors are indicated by red color, and these are the dash colors line. This line style is dash type. Here we use dash. Next one is the pie chart. It is type of area plot. X is equal to one. To these are the values. This is array 1, 2, 0.8, 4, and 6. These are the different values. Then we use command explode. Explode command is used. This is the pie chart. The x values are these values are x values 1, 2, 0.8, 4, and 6. Okay. Then this is the explode command. Explode. This is the array. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So, x are the different values 1, 2, 0. 0.846. Okay. To put or to show that values in graph, the function is used 1 divided by sum of that all values. That is sum of 1, 2, 0. 0.8, 4, and 6. So, the first area will be 1 divided by sum of all these values. Second area will be 2 divided by sum of all these values into 100. So, pi x comma explode will indicate this pie chart. Color map, we can change the color map. Here, the z color map is used. Okay, we will see this example in MATLAB. So, this is the pie chart. Here, 